let's talk about a router. Okay, so the R in Viper stands for router. And basically I want to separate out the router from Viper just so that you can kind of understand. So you already understand the view interactor and the presenter, VIP. Now let's talk about the router. What is a router? Is router is just a Viper, part of the Viper design pattern. Um, the router is the way that keeps the navigation modular, decoupling it from the other functionality. And in this tutorial, we won't implement the entire Viper design pattern. We just implement the router. Okay. So here we have our project and we call this router example. And of course this will be available for download. Um, but let's get to it. So um, this is our what our view looks like. Of course, um, let's build it. I'm going to, it's taking this long to build. All right, there we go. So um, let's change up some things in our directory structure. Okay, have a content view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory called views. Mm. Views, views. So views and then a directory called routers. Okay, so now we have this. So now I want to take our content view and put it inside of views, right? And um, I'm going to create another file, Swift file. We're going to call this router. Okay. So um, we have our view, we have our router, right? Views and routers, right? And let's go ahead and run this to make sure everything is still running. Everything is still working. Good, everything's still working. Okay, so now another thing we're going to add, I'm going to add two more views in here, right? We have content view, but I also want, so basically when we open up our app, we're going to go to the content view, then content view is going to, we're going to navigate from content view to detail view to home view, okay? So, new file, All right? We're going to call this details view. And then create another one called home view. We'll have content view, details view, home view. Okay, good. And go back to content view. Let's um let's ch start changing up some things. Actually, let's go ahead and create the router first, okay? Because that's the thing that probably probably make the most sense all right so we have this router um i'm going to we can add, i'm going to import swift ui why because there are things that you either we're going to need for this router okay again this is an observable class right so just like we talked about in the vip when you create an observable class it always has what it has a at published um property right um and um we can create an instance of that in somewhere in our view that is um observed right 
where it's observed and it's an instance of our router. Okay, so if that's confusing, you need to go back and look at the VIP video. Okay, router, observable, observable object, right? And then enum, router, I'm gonna create an enum and this enum is gonna represent um, whatever type of view that we're looking at, okay? So, enum, route, Right, case, home, case, details. Okay, we have this. So now that um, we, we got that, we're gonna create an at published. So at published property wrapper bar, okay. We'll call this current route D, right? Current route, type route, okay? For now, this is gonna be home. So that's gonna be default, right? We're gonna create a function. Navigate, I'm gonna say a public function, right? Public funk, public funk, right? N A V I G. Navigate to O U T E. Right, as a type route, right? Right, current route equals route, okay? So that's all we have to do for our router, right? So now let's go over to our details in home view and we're just gonna do stuff that, right? I'm gonna say switch UI, okay, struct, Details view is of type view. Okay. So bar body some view. There we go. Oh, I hate when this does that. Okay, and then we'll say text. Let's put so basic text. This is our details view. I'm going to say, this is our, our details view, right? And then we'll go home, and then Swift UI, right? So um, again, we're going to say structs, right? Um, Home view right view right bar body colon some some view some views okay text, right. this is our home page. This is the home view. Okay, so we have this, right? We have details view, we have the home view, okay? Now let's go to our content view, right? So this, this still runs and Oh, okay, look, forget it. That takes like forever sometimes, right? 
their preview. Okay, there we go. So um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this canvas out the way so that we can see what we're doing. And what we want to do now is want to get rid of all this because this is not this is not what we need, right? So I'm going to um, get rid of what's inside of here. And let's go ahead and um, add observed, right? At observed object, right? Bar router, okay? Equals what? Router, okay? Right? So now, um, let me see. We need to declare something inside of here, right? So what we're going to do is we'll say navigation view. Navigation. Hold on for a second. So we're going to say navigation. How's this thing? View. Navigation view, right? So the navigation view in here, and of course these things should go away, right? And then we're gonna say switch router dot current route, right? Uh, current route. Now we're in here. Inside of this, we have case dot home right and then we're going to all the case dot details okay so inside of this we will create our different instances right so we're inside of our navigation view so inside of dot home we will say what home view right that makes sense dot navigation title home okay and in this one we'll say details view right uh, details view right dot navigation title details okay and then inside of that okay so we have each one working and so that's pretty much right the the work let's go ahead and have it to where you can navigate from one to the other okay dot navigation bar items Items, there you go. Bar items, we'll say trailing. Okay, and that's this is going to be our button. We don't have to say trailing, we can say what navigation bar items. Um, no, say trailing because th this is where our thing will be most visible. Button action. Action, we'll say button action label, right? So action is this, right? And we will say it's router dot navigate to dot details, okay? And we'll go down here, tab to this. The label should say text, text. Uh, details okay right so that's how that works and then we're gonna go take this C and we're gonna put this down here actually from here to here 
See? V. And then this should say um, our item action router label dot home, right? And this should say home, right? And, and really, that's it. So we have our navigation view. Inside of our navigation view, we have a switch statement, right? For the route, router.current route, right? Right, our default is details, right? Or home, I can't remember which one was it. Our default was home, sorry. Okay, home, right? So this is what should be our, on our first view. We should be able to click this button. The router should go to details. So we're inside this navigation view, but we populate it with either home view or details view. And that's how we navigate, right? Hopefully you're familiar with um, navigation views from, um, or not, yeah, from um, dealing with a UI kit. So again, this home, this is the home view right here. Click on details. Details view, right? We're back here, home view, right? And the power of this is that this navigation stuff, the functionality is decoupled right here, okay? Right, and you just have the functionality right in here. This kind of just gives you an example of how our router works, right? And, um, of course, another thing too is you can further kind of remove all of this from the view, right? Um, and put this into another file, right? This, you see this logic in, in VIP design pattern, this logic would go into an interactor, right? This will go into an interactor, right? Then it will be called from that interactor and placed in the view by the presenter, right? So, um, yeah. And you already know how to call things from an interactor and place it in the presenter from the VIP tutorial that I gave you. So, um, if you got, if anybody's having any trouble with that, um, make a comment in the comments and I'll make a video on that. Um, but yeah, that's how you do a router. Okay, so um, on to the next.